What is going on everyone? We're finally back and we're doing something completely different in this video, a shoe review. We are going all out on Medvedev, like we already done his uh, racket, his string. So let's finish this Medi series off with taking a look at his shoes here, the Lacoste AG LT23. And right out of the box, a look at these all bright yellow, looks so good. And it's of course, it's a uh, tennis Viking color. So we are already super biased. Got his name on here. And I think I need to get one made that says tennis Viking. Lacoste, I'll be waiting for that. First impression, love the look. The sole seems very tacky and grippy. Now, what's important to me here, if there's enough room for my high arch. And my problem these days is that I cannot seem to find a pair of tennis shoes that fit my weird foot. Like for example, I can get my foot in there comfortably, it's way too long. And if I go down a size, I can hardly squeeze my foot in there. Like the Nike here with their tongue attached, super snug. Like seriously, I hate that. No room at all. And the barricades look like they spend more time trying to make them look all fancy than to make a shoe that actually feels good if you ask me bring back the old barricades the three and the four and the nike cages the ones that delpo played in and we are good to go the medvedev shoe here has tons of room and i love the big tongue looks more like a soccer style actually which of course i'm a fan of the room compared to the nike for example here is just night and day and also i do use a thicker performance insole instead of the usual sole that just comes with the shoe and even with that in there easy to get my foot in the lacosta aglt by the way if you're interested in why i use this specific insole let me know in the comments and i can make a video about the benefits fits and why I think most players should use a quality insole. We got our foot in and no problem feels nice a little snug I would say on the sides and the toe bugs is slightly low but not uncomfortable as of now. It's definitely true to length as I also wear a size 11 in other shoes but they do feel a little bit more snug and a little tighter on the side. Let's see if they change any while playing in them. Let's go. First of all guys I always walk around a bit in new tennis shoes before playing in them but not for this review. I went straight on the court to see if there was any break-in required. And although I had no problem playing in them right away, I would still recommend a slight break-in for this model. It's just a personal preference. I've used this shoe for three weeks now and let's go over the pros and cons. Let's start with the good part. The look, obviously we went over that, the room, for the arch the tongue easily moves around and also the heel or heel cup is nice and high meaning this shoe feels nice and secure around the heel and ankle and with my insole in there that can be a problem with other models like it feels like your heel kind of slides up and down as you're moving around but not with this shoe so good job there lacosta also the comfort of the sole and especially in the heel again nice and cushioned without being uh, crazy squishy and i had no heel pain at all so love the comfort the lateral support in this shoe is pretty good. The fact that it feels so secure on your foot along with the comfort really connects you with the court rather than let's say a stiffer shoe. So I do prefer that. With the AGLT here, you also feel light and quick on your feet. So it's not like you feel like you have ankle weights on uh, while playing and that's always nice, especially if you don't feel as fast as you used to back in the day. In regards to sliding, I have no idea since the only surface I slide on is clay, maybe artificial grass, the sand on there. My hardcore sliding days are over with, but I'm sure today's juniors and pros can slide in these, especially after playing in them a few times and kind of get used to the feel of the sole. So the slight tightness we went over early in this video it went away fairly quickly after playing in them and my foot settled in so no problem there i also tried playing in them outside in 100 degree heat and i felt good circulation in meaning my feet didn't feel like they were on fire so that's always nice the only con i really have with this shoe is that the toe box itself could be a little higher and roomier but remember i do play with an insole so it does raise my foot just a little bit overall i give this shoe four out of five stars a very nice solid sleek looking easy to just put on and chill in when you hang out in between matches or just walking around i love that feel secure on your foot and the only reason i took away one star again is this space around the toe box and shout out to Djokovic. as i'm editing this he just won his 23rd grand slam are you kidding me right now this guy is i mean what a sick mother that is it for this video guys thanks for watching and lacoste thanks for sending on these shoes to try they really are legit we appreciate it and we'll see you all in the next video take care